In this training session, we're going to discuss recommended client preparation requirements prior to apprehend application when addressing an existing bed bug infestation. The first step really is, is with the client and the preparation that we ask them to do. Now we recommend what we call minimal prep. You've probably heard of the no prep protocols. They're essentially the same because it requires cooperation, but it doesn't require extensive preparation as we have been used to in the past, uh, where, where people have to empty everything out of their drawers, launder their entire um, clothing collection and so on. So that is not required in this case. But we, we do want clients to work with us. We don't want to in work in this kind of environment. It's entirely reasonable to expect people to pick up clutter from the floor, um, to throw away items that are not required, to launder dirty items that have been left there, uh, to strip the bed and, and, and launder and dry the, the bedding on high heat but we don't require them to empty clean clothes out of drawers and closets and that sort of thing. Uh, items that are under the bed and the things that can't be washed or dried at high heat are of concern to us and we do need the, um, the client to make sure that when they remove things from under the bed that they, they put them in a place where that we can deal with them and I'll go through a few options for how to deal with those sorts of clutter items that can't be laundered. Some options are to use a portable hotbox, such as the ones from Zapbug. Or, alternatively, these items can be inspected. Any visible bed bugs can be vacuumed, and then the items can go in an open box, which can be sprayed with an apprehend barrier, so that any remaining bugs will come into contact with the apprehend when seeking their next blood meal. So, minimal prep means pick up the random clutter, strip the bed and bag the bedding, launder those sheets and bedding, and place all of these bulky items on high heat in the dryer. So the reason that minimal prep is possible is due to the existence of long-term residual pesticides, and Apprehend is one of these. Because what it means is that even if there are bed bugs hiding in the books on the bookshelves, or inside the drawers in the, in, the, in the closets, then we know that if we put a residual barrier around those items, if there are bed bugs inside, they have to cross that barrier when they go for that all important blood meal. Remember the life cycle that we looked at in the first slide? We're using that knowledge of the biology of the bed bug to attack the bed bug. So we know it's got to take a blood meal in between each of its life stages. And we're going to put apprehend barriers between the bed bugs and the blood meal so that we can be sure that they come into contact with our application. And we're not having to chase them and try and find every single nook and cranny and hiding place that they have been lodging in. So we're going to leave those clothes in the drawers. Um, we're going to identify items that can't be laundered and we're going to deal with those. And of course, if the client can vacuum before you're in there, that's always appreciated, but it is not essential. We've got a homeowner preparation guide that can be downloaded and handed to your clients. It's in the, on the Apprehend web, website under documents. You can download that. You can put your own logo on it if you like. Now we have an appropriately prepared property. Our next training session will cover site assessment and strategic application.